the, ho the hotel I'm staying in, the rooms are so small, the mice have got hunchback. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's right. Yeah, that's good. I rang down the reception, I said, hey, I got a leak in my faucet. They said, go ahead, everyone else has. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Right when you are, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep that in there. Dad jokes with Tommy Manuel. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're. What is it? Did you hear about the jazz musician who won the lottery? No. Yeah, he kept playing until the money ran out. <laughs> A little jazz humor there for you, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Father's Day jazz humor. You got any more, Tommy? I got lots of them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's roll them. Okay. What's your? Right. Yeah. Oh well. You know. Uh, uh, Let's see. How do you get a drummer off your porch? How? Oh. Pay for the pizza. <laughs> what do you call a bass player whose girlfriend has left him? What? Homeless. <laughs> you know the difference between a violin and a, and a viola? What? No, uh, the viola burns longer. <laughs> a guy walks into a, in, into a bar here in Rochester and he's wearing what looks like a trombone case. As he walks in, everybody holds their breath. They're like, oh, no. He's got a trombone. I said, goes up and he goes, bang, puts it on the bar, click, click. Everyone holds their breath. He lifts the top up, pulls out a machine gun, and they go, oh, thank God. Anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome to Jazz FM, <laughs> where we insult all... <laughs> Genres of music here. <laughs> Rock and roll. Might as well keep it going, man. <laughs> keep it going, buddy. <laughs> Speaking with Tommy Emanuel. Tommy, welcome back to Rochester. Thank you so much for, for uh, uh, inviting me here. And uh, I mean, it just feels like, oh, oh look at that. So thank you, God. Right on time. So I'm back in Rochester and loving it here. Um, I wish I was playing more than once, actually. But uh, um, I have a. Uh, a lot of connections in this area and I wrote a song many years ago called The Finger Lakes and uh, when I found out about the the area and 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 the native uh, um, stories that, that were to do with, with the Finger Lakes I wrote the song so I've been running it today and I'm gonna play it on my show tonight awesome speaking with Tommy Emanuel Tommy for you talk about who, who inspired you to pick up the guitar and keep playing because so many times people will hear you know what I hear this person, this is why I picked up the guitar. Who was it for you? Ah, well, it was so long ago, brother. Um, yeah. Uh, it was before the guitar was invented. No, money, kitty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was an oud. <laughs> <laughs> room service, send me up a room. Um, I first heard Jimmy Rogers and Hank Williams. That was the first music I, I heard. Uh, so I was totally into that blues and country. Um, and and uh, also, you've got to remember the late 50s, early 60s was a lot of instrumental music on the radio. The Ventures, Dwayne Eddy, Chet Atkins, uh, Merle Travis, pe people like that. And of course, um, uh, Louis Armstrong, you know. And they, so they, they were all big influences. And then the Beatles came along, early 60s, and my mother said, don't listen to that rubbish, you know. And or you had to listen. And I'm still listening to that rubbish. I love it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And so happy birthday, Paul, but by the way. Yeah. You just turned 80. Yeah, I know it. I I sincerely hope that I can be as healthy and upright as him when I'm 80, if I make it that far. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Speaking with Tommy Emanuel. So, Tommy, what did you learn about yourself during the last two years of the lockdown and everything going on? What did you learn about yourself as an artist? Uh, I need. I learned that I needed to change me. I, I needed to let go of a lot of baggage. I needed to uh, just throw myself into my music and do what I'm born to do and not worry about other stuff, you know. Just be a dad, be a friend. Uh, that's a lot of stuff I, that, that I, I've kind of learned, you know. Tommy, for you, is it about the yourself, the audience, or your fellow musicians when you're playing with them? It's only about the audience. Without the audience, we wouldn't be up there. So everything that I do, when I, I'm here to serve the audience, right? I'm here to serve the music, but when I serve the music right, I serve the audience as well. Um, but I see my job as doing whatever I can to give the audience a good time, you know? I want the audience to have the best time, and that's what it's all about. Uh, I never forget that I'm in the entertainment business, 
you know. I don't care about critics or trying to impress other musicians. I could care less about that. There's better players than me out there, but I, I, I play my way and I, I play my songs and and uh, I'm grateful for, for where I am. Very, very grateful. So there you go. Okay. So who have you been listening to these days, Tommy? New, old, classic? What, what's been on your playlist? Well, when I'm in my car, I switch between the Beatles channel and, uh, and 60s and 70s music. Uh, occasionally I go on the Bluegrass channel. Um, but it's really fascinating to hear um, what people are doing these days. Um, and some of my other heroes, like Joe Satriani, his new stuff is so amazing, you know. And uh, sometimes I'll listen to Pat Metheny or, um, you know, pe pe people, people like that. But I'm mostly into songs. I'm a song guy, you know. So I don't study guitar. Maybe I should. I'd probably be a better player if I spent time studying. <laughs> but I don't. I listen to songs and songwriting and I... I'm more interested in trying to be a songwriter and write something that really speaks to people's heart, you know? Why songwriting for you? Because a number of artists have often mentioned that, although they're an instrumentalist per se, they actually listen, they like songs. Why yeah. is that? Yeah, be because, um, well, I try to tell stories without words, right? So th that's a bit more difficult, but there, there is a way of doing it, of, of painting a picture for you, the listener, uh, w without saying any words. And then you got to get the right title for the song, right? So um, uh, it's important to me. It, all my songs are like my, my children, you know, and I rediscover them from time to time. Like as soon as I got here today to Rochester, I got my guitar out and started playing some songs that I figured I would do on stage today that I hadn't played in a while. It was like meeting them all over again, you know, and the memory of it comes back to you. Um, when you practice as much as I do, you have muscle memory as well as brain memory. And so I can play a song that I haven't played in five years and go into it and, and think, well, I haven't a clue what's going to happen in the bridge and my hands will lead me. And then I'll, then I'll remember it all and it'll all come back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how it works. It's That's so cool. Built. That's so amazing. How about some more jazz jokes? What do you got for me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, um, more jazz jokes. Um, jokes. Well, um, let me see. Uh, see, you got me off guard now, I see. Uh, I, actually, I wanted to tell you, it's a shame, but uh, I, I got pulled up by the police today. Uh, I, I didn't know they were allowed to drive that fast. <laughs> The, the policeman staggered and weaved his way over to my car. He was full as a Catholic school and uh, put his head through the passenger side window, which was a shame because I hadn't wound it down. And, uh, and he said, look, lady. Well, I was wearing shorts. Right. You know? And uh, he said, look, lady, uh, have you got a license? And I said, yep. He said, good. I'll have a gin and tonic, thanks. <laughs> Hey, uh, two two um, uh, two cannibals eating a clown. One turns to the other and says, "Does this taste funny to you?" <laughs> you know, I had a I had a job in the circus once. I was a uh, I was a pilot. Yeah, I used to walk behind the elephants and pilot here and pilot. There. <laughs> my, and my mother saw us coming through town, you know, doing the the whole circus through town thing. And she saw me walking behind the elephants and came to my trailer crying. And she said, "Couldn't you get a, another job?" And I said, "What? And quit show business?" <laughs> <laughs> playing tonight at 9 o'clock, <laughs> the great Tommy uh, Emmanuel. There won't be any music, it's just all jokes. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you could walk out with a guitar and set it down. And <laughs> you put it down and say, had a great time today. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Tommy, yeah, thank you so much for uh, taking you, jazz brother. further. Appreciate you. Th thanks for having me here. And I'd like to thank my mother for having me. Thank you, Virgie.